In this series so far, we've done five different clue types and covered the basic principles of how to read and dissect a cryptic clue. With the knowledge we now have, the next handful of clue types should be fairly intuitive as long as you know that these clue types exist. To find out what kind of clue type it is, you have to separate the definition from the wordplay. And to help with that, you spot a signpost in the wordplay. That'll tell you how to manipulate your fodder. And you'll know what kind of signpost to look out for as long as you know that this clue type exists. So if you know how to solve the clue, you'll be able to solve the clue. So let's get cracking with containers. Containers, very straightforward. You just put letters inside other letters. Done. So an easy one to start with. And then Ronaldo! Oh! What a goal by Cristiano Ronaldo! One more thing to mention. Remember charades? Most clues are also charades. Because if they just gave you the letters to put inside the other letters, that'd be too easy. So you're still going to have to make some substitutions. For this one, we need our Roman numerals. One is I. And if you put that in between A and Roman numeral thousand, you get a word for a goal. Let's try a trickier example. Flat housed by a pig's home number. It's gibberish. So a pig's home is a sty, and a flat could be a unit or an apartment, but it could also be the opposite of bumpy, meaning even. So if you put even inside sty, you get a number, 70. So signposts to look out for, anything that suggests one thing going inside another. Remember all those signposts from Hiddens? So all of them, plus a bunch more. Stuffing, filling, imprisoned, caged, between, amidst, even just in, as in even, in sty. Also, the opposite, of course. Anything suggesting one thing going on the outside of another. So around, about, caging, trapping, penning, walling, surrounding, anything. And for this one, you can have the converse of sty without even. Without can mean both lacking something and also being on the outside of something is in the opposite of within, without. English sucks. So, looking at the container clue from our master grid, can holding wells up at day's end. One more thing to mention, just a quick side note about the ellipsis. It doesn't necessarily have any impact on the clue. It's just a device that allows a setter to write a clue that's only half a sentence. This is a complete cryptic clue, but it doesn't make complete grammatical sense. If you connect it to the next clue with the ellipsis, you circumvent that issue. Having said that, some setters might connect them and leave the definition for the subsequent clue in the previous one. It doesn't happen a lot. And a couple of times I've even seen the three dots being the definition itself. Take this example, rims engulfed by James. So rims can be lips, and shout out to Welsh comedian Ellis James. Hello. If you put lips inside Ellis, Ooh. you get ellipsis which makes the three dots the definition. That's very cheeky. So just FYI about the dot dot dot. I think that's everything. We can do the clue now. Day's end could offer us why, but then the definition would have to be can. But holding as a signpost easily suggests a container, meaning that the fodder could be on either side of it. If we try some other substitutions, can could be tin. And wells, well, I've been a bit mean here not spelling it with a capital, but I'm referring to the famous Wells, HG. Hello. So a tin holding HG gives us the gin. Meaner still, this isn't just a container, it's also a reversal. We have to send it all up to get night. Day's end. That's a really good one. Very economically phrased. It's just no wasted space. All killer, no filler. It's, I like that one. Tune in next time for deletions. Thanks for watching.